Hey everybody, Indiana Magnum again. So uh, a few weeks back I did a video on how to remove trigger locks if you've uh, lost your keys. Now that video generated uh, a few comments, uh, you know, and a little bit of controversy I suppose. Um, so I'll address a couple things uh, that I didn't address in the first video on how to remove the trigger locks. Now the first thing was uh, some people pointed out that there's a much easier way than uh, drilling them off. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video I used an electric drill to take the trigger locks off. Um, now I did allude to the um, fact that there's a different way in the first video but I didn't go into it uh, now the reason for that is I don't really like it, um, but it does work sometimes. Uh, so you have to understand how trigger locks work. So I'll just go into that for just a couple seconds. Uh, basically, there's interlocking teeth inside the trigger lock. I don't know how good you'll be able to see it, but there's little like saw blade teeth on this side and there's little saw blade type teeth on the other side and they simply lock together they'll push past each other when you put the lock on but then they lock together when you try to pull them back out now the ones on this side that's the side without the key they're held forward Again, I don't know how easy you'll be able to see it because of the lighting in here, but they're held forward kind of by a little spring. And that's what makes them lock together. There's a little spring that wants to push it forward, so you know, it'll push past and then it'll lock. And when you're unlocking the trigger lock, you're simply, with the key, you're simply rotating some of those teeth on one side out of the way so it becomes smooth teeth, no teeth. Um, so basically the trick is if you don't want to drill them off is to simply take something like a screwdriver and get it in and hold these set of teeth down, these spring-loaded ones on the side without the key. You can simply push them down and the trigger lock will come apart. Now it does work sometimes but there's some flaws with that little plan gun safety always check your gun if I put this trigger lock on and I put it on properly the way it's supposed to be put on I lock it on there nice and tight it's very very difficult with this trigger lock on properly, nice and tight, to get a screwdriver in there. Um, now, if this was just some old gun I didn't care about, some rusty old piece of junk, well, okay, go ahead, jam that screwdriver in there, start twisting it around, find the spot, and you'll be able to do it. But I don't like to scratch my guns all up, and that's, that's the problem with doing it this way, is you can scratch the heck out of your gun. Now, again, it might not matter, or in a lot of cases, I guess I might as well kind of show you that too. In a lot of cases, people don't put their trigger locks on right. You know, they just quickly grab the gun, you know, clip it on. The trigger lock's on there all loose and wobbly, and there's lots of space. In that case, if the trigger lock isn't on there properly, and there's lots of space, and you can get in there you know, with your screwdriver and, and push those teeth down and pop that off, by all means, go ahead. But if this trigger lock is put on there properly, the way it's supposed to be, that's going to be pretty hard to do without scratching the heck out of your gun. And you can do it. If you don't care, well, go ahead. But I'd rather wreck a $15, $10 trigger lock than scratch my gun all up. But... Hey, if you're out in the woods and you're uh, you know hunting and you've lost your trigger lock 
and you haven't got an electric drill, you know, well, hey, if you got a screwdriver, go for it. So anyway, that's that's the other way of getting them off, and it does work. Um, so, you know, yeah, you might want to try it. If the trigger lock's loose, you might want to try it before you destroy the trigger lock, I suppose. Now, the other thing, I had a few comments. Uh, some people kind of thought it was inappropriate for me to be on the internet teaching people how to take trigger locks off. Well, I guess that's a legitimate point of view you can have if you want. Uh, I don't share that point of view. In my opinion, trigger locks are meant to keep small children and adults who simply should know better than to be touching the gun. They are not designed to keep criminals away from your guns. Um, anyone who's smart enough to figure out how to break into your house or break into your car and steal your guns is going to be smart enough, you know, when they get home, they're going to be smart enough to figure out how to take these trigger locks off. It's not rocket science. I mean, heck, they could hacksaw them off if they wanted to. Everybody has a hacksaw. You can simply hacksaw the trigger guard off the gun if you want. Um, you know, they're going to figure out how to do it. So again, in my personal opinion, trigger locks are to keep little kids, you know, five-year-olds, ten-year-olds away from your guns, and adults, like I said, who should, they should just know better than to touch guns because they don't know what they're doing. You know, um, it's not to keep Tony Soprano's hitmen from using your guns. It's not going to work. But I guess that's a point of, uh, you know, that's a matter of opinion. Some people might disagree with me on that, but... I guess that's the beauty of the internet. We're all free to share our opinions. So anyway, that's part two of the trigger lock thing. Again, if the trigger lock's on there nice and loose and you can get in there with a screwdriver, that will sometimes work. I guess that's it for today. So we'll talk at you later, folks.